Okay, any questions about Christianity? Yeah, I have one. Can I get more water, Jason? Yeah, no one's asking. All right, no one's asking. Can I ask now? Right. So what I'll do instead, let me debate this, brother, about the Quran. So I'd like to ask you a question about the Quran. Yeah, go on. So, would you agree that the Quran yeah. addresses the Christian belief in the Trinity and condemns it? Yeah, it condemns it, yeah. Right. Where does it condemn it? How does it condemn it? It condemns it. It does condemn it. How and where? In many, in many places in the Quran. Can you uh, please use Google? Don't feel embarrassed. Oh, so you want me to look and search out of the six thousand verses and waste time? Just find nice one. Trick. Nice Just trick. find one. No, no, no. It does. I'm telling you, it does. Take my word for it. I'm a Muslim. No, no, no. Take my word for it. It does. I agree with you. It does. So carry on then. But, right. Can you show me what? What is the Trinity? It's believing in three gods, right? Nope. Yep. It's nope. one God it's split into three. Nope. It's not that either. What is it then? It's belief that there is one God, yeah. and that God is the Father, is the Son, is the Holy Spirit. So God is three. That's what Trinity is. God is three. Three what? God is three. Three what? You tell me. Three persons. So God is three people. Three persons, yeah. Three people. Well, look, you, you, I mean, if I say persons and you ignore that, one, that's up to you. One person. So. We can't say two persons. Can you make, show me. You can't say persons, it's people. Can you show me. Can you, that was grammatically wrong, by the way. But can you show me in your great infallible book where the Quran condemns the worship of the Holy Spirit? It doesn't literally condemn it. But that's the Trinity. No, that's the angel Gabriel. No. You said we're talking about what the Quran says about the Trinity. Right. The Quran condemns in the worship of the Trinity. Well, who does it? Who does it list as no, the no, Trinity? No, no, it condemns the ideology of Trinity. Yes, and who does it list as Trinity? When the Christians say the, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is one. Right, so show me where it mentions the Holy Ghost as being it? divine. Have you, have you seen it? Shall we look at what he says? Yeah, show you. Show Sh yeah, I'll show you. I'll you know show you. It is. Yeah, I'll show you because you clearly don't know. No, I don't. Yeah, you don't. No, I, I got the. I, at least I admit I don't know. That's so you fine. Can tell me. I'm not trying to. This is. I can correct you. Bro, this isn't a gotcha moment. No, no. I'm not trying to I embarrass can you. you. No, no. I'm not trying to embarrass you. No, I want to correct you. Okay, great. Correct you say me. Then. Muslims can't handle corrections. You. I'm willing to admit I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, in Surah 5, 73. Now the thing is, what you got to recognize, guys. Show me. Show me the verse. Patience. Why are you talking to show me the verse? I'm going to. Don't tell them what you think of the verse. Right. Show me so I, I can say I'm what going I think to. of the verse. I'm going to. So what you've got, what you understand that this book is divine and infallible, right? Yeah, there's only one Quran. So it doesn't make Bibles. So it doesn't make mistakes, correct? Which Bible are you following? Yeah, Bible? right. So in this Quran, it says they do blaspheme who say Allah is one of three in a trinity for there is no god except one god if they desist not it is better for them yeah uh, for their word of blasphemy yeah a, there is a grievous penalty that will befall the blasphemers amongst them now the quran gets it wrong here because it says that allah is one of three we christians don't say that there is one God amongst three gods. Are you Catholic? I'm a Christian. What, which version of Christian? Just a follower of Jesus. Yeah, but that was according to the ideology of Christianity of that time. Not which, modern which time? time? 7th century? Yeah, but Christian, Christian ideology has changed over time. No, it hasn't. Most Christians follow St. Paul. They don't follow Jesus. They follow you you don't know what you're talking it's about. Pauline Christianity. Sorry, one second. Do you even know the defining statement about the Trinity in the Christian church? No, I'm not Christian. No. no, no, right, brother. What will help you here is having a bit more humility, because you're making statements about Christianity and you're totally wrong. No, no, you're, you're not. Can you're you ignore, show to you're me? Ignoring history, though. Can, so show to me, show to me, yeah. where which Christians believed in three gods. What are you talking about? The Quran says we believe in three gods. Show me where the Christians There's, believe in three gods. The world gods. is bigger than Speaker's Corner. I can't show you. Which Christians? Listen, listen to me carefully. How long has Christianity been around for? 
2,000 years. Exactly. In that 2,000 years, do you actually believe that all those Christians follow your ideology of Christianity? All Christians have believed you in actually one believe, God. You all believe in the same thing. All Christians, you yeah. You are living in a different world, mate. You're living you in are the... not living on earth. Do you know what the problem is? I've bro. got the... Yeah, but bro. I can say there's Muslims... But what, what you're doing, what you're doing, bro. bro. No, what what are you doing? with Muslims. What you're doing, bro, what you you're doing... the same Islam. Is you, you are applying, you're applying... Yeah. Um, ignorance no. uh, onto Christianity. No, no, this is historical. Every Christian, this is historical. if you're making a claim, you've got to bring forth evidence. There is evidence. Where? In history. Show me. There's thousands of years of history. Google it. You can Google many things. Show me where Christians oh, believed in three gods. What are you talking about now? Okay, let's do some it another way. Some Christians worship Google Mary. it. Some Christians worship Who? Mary. Who? Who? Would you tell me? They don't. I Baptist. I'm a Christian. Are you Methodist? I'm a Christian. Are you Orthodox? I'm a Christian. Are you uh, Reformed? They're Christians. You have no idea how many Christian acnes they are. I do, do I do. you believe there's only one Christianity? Okay, Is so, reality? so, the Quran has made a false statement, and what we've seen is this brother has got no defense for that false statement. Yes. Which Bible? So, Which show Bible? me, show me in the Bible. Which Bible? Where does the Bible, Which Bible? where does the Bible Which? say believe in three gods? Which Bible? I believe in all of them. This, show me in any of them. You, show me in right. any of them where it says right. I believe in you three believe gods. In all Bibles. Show me which one says I believe in you three in gods. In the Song of Solomon. Go on. In the Song of Solomon. Where does it say? Muhammad is mentioned by name. Where does it Do you say? you believe in Muhammad now? Where does it oh, say? Listen. In the Song of Solomon. No, no, stop changing the, the topic. Song of Solomon. Stop changing the Muhammad topic. Muhammad is mentioned by name. That's it. In the Hebrew language. That argument Muhammad is condemned by Muslims. You realize that? Condemned by what? Muslim scholars condemn that argument. Which scholars have you been listening to? Uh, from Islamka, QA, Islam QA, which is a Salafist. Islam QA. A, a Salafist Mufti. No, no, no. no listen, no, no. listen. I'm a Salafist Mufti has already released a fatwa condemning that argument as false. You don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking what about. Are you listening to? Shall I tell you why? Listen. Because it would mean just... Muhammad is gay and it would mean that Muhammad is attracted to Solomon. The passage that you're talking about no, 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 no. is no, from the English. perspective no, no. of the woman no. talking about no, no, no. the man. No, no. You and the word. No. You the word, the name word, as well. Lovely. which is the correct uh, to the Hebrew. They're describing where You're he is. You're just ignorant. They describe him where You're he just is. ignorant. What but coming back to the topic. How am I ignorant? Coming back to the topic. Coming back to the topic. You're saying that the Quran condemns Trinity. Where does the Quran condemn the worship of the Holy Spirit as God? Not literally, no. It doesn't mention it. No, no. But the Quran says Why clearly. Why doesn't the Quran, the Quran mention says it? Clearly, the Holy Spirit is Why? Gabriel. Why it, doesn't the Quran? No, no, no. That's like saying, why does the history teacher no. have to be female and not male? No, why doesn't saying? the Quran condemn no, it says it the worship no, no. of the Holy Spirit? There's messages in the Quran that are direct and indirect. All right, you know what indirect message is? Look, are we going to have a conversation or just Do talk about it? you know what an indirect message is? So, what's the answer to my question? How many times does Muhammad mention in the Quran? It's How irrelevant you know? to the argument. Only three times. It's irrelevant to this but argument. God addresses him as you, so, my slave. I'm going to right. advance my argument. So the then. Holy Spirit is the angel Gabriel. I want to suggest to you that the reason why. He doesn't need to say I condemn the Holy Spirit. The reason why the Quran no, he says the Holy Spirit does is not condemn angel Gabriel. Right, let's allow Simple that. Fact. For the sake of argument, let's allow that. Saying it's not God doesn't reveal no. who it is. Let's just pretend for the sake of argument. Christians believe that the Holy Spirit is the angel Gabriel. The reality is, we Christians worship the Holy Spirit, so why doesn't the Quran condemn our worship of the Holy Spirit like it condemns our worship of Jesus? I'll tell you why. Because the author of the Quran didn't have a clue what the Trinity was. Okay. He was an ignorant so, okay. man. So you don't worship Jesus then? We're talking about the no, Holy no. Spirit. Okay. okay, say if you're right. You I, am right. Jesus, I am right. I am right. But you're condemning Quran. Again, you're, you're trying not. to change the you're topic. Not. You're trying to change your belief. No. no, I'm not. Yes, you are. I have not changed so my belief. Believe, so you From the beginning no, no. of this conversation, you just the Quran. I have believed you that the just, Holy Spirit listen, is God and should be worshipped. You're, saying something for Quran that you're, you're just not following Quran. the conversation. You're, no, no, you're convincing yourself. Your Quran has an error in it. Which error? Let's see. Which you one? see, you weren't even listening. Which error? What error? Should can the Quran have any errors in it? Your, your understanding has errors in Does it. Does the Quran have any errors your in it? Your understanding has so errors. So show me. 
Show me where the Quran yeah. condemns the worship of the Holy Spirit. You're holding the book as if you know everything. You show me. Right, I'll show you what it does I'll show say. you, but the 6,000 Yeah, go on, find one. Find one. one. Find one. You're specifically arguing about. It doesn't exist. I'm telling you, it condemns It does where? It says, where? Gabriel, where? you don't worship angels. Simple as. Simple as. So, show you us. don't worship angels. Show us. Okay. Show us. What do you mean, show you? Show me where it condemns the worship of the Holy so Spirit. So you're going to dedicate your entire belief based on one verse that you can't find. That's ridiculous. Show me, what show me. What kind of learning is that? Okay, let me what show you what... knowledge is that? Let me show you what the Quran actually says. And you fooled yourself. Goodbye. Now, what you see, ladies and gentlemen, is an example that the Muslims will come and challenge you. But if you know what you're talking about, you can flip it on them just as I did just then and as you can see if you educate yourself the Muslims are left speechless this Quran claims to be free from errors this Quran condemns what it thinks the Trinity is it condemns the worship of three gods it condemns the worship of Jesus and Mary as a God. Now I know there's lots of Christians around me. Put up your hand if you recognize Jesus and Mary as three gods. You see, no one raised their hand. Why? Because the Quran is wrong. Because Muhammad was wrong. Now, Christians, put up your hand if you recognize the Father as God, the Son as God, and the Holy Spirit as God. Keep your hand up if you worship Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you see, Muslims? That's the Trinity the Quran does not understand. The Quran condemns the worship of the Son and Mary. Why doesn't the Quran condemn the worship of the Holy Spirit? I'll tell you why. Because Muhammad didn't know what he was talking about. He was an ignorant man. And the Quran shares his ignorance. The Quran is in error because Muhammad was in error. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I call you to the worship of the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you don't worship God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you're not worshipping God at all. Muslims say how great their religion is. We believe in one God. So what? Shaitan believes in one God. You're no better than Shaitan. You're no better than Satan to believe in one God. Belief is not enough. You must worship God as he is, for who he is. And who he is, is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to actually clarify a point. Because you said you were reading the Quran and you read it as if it actually mentions the Trinity. But whereas the Trinity does exist in Arabic, but the way you read it was as if. So if you need to clarify that Yes. Point. So the word, ladies and gentlemen, and what you've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is another person who, because he can never get his own crowd, tries to kidnap others. Please don't feed the trolls. Remember I said that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Quran, in the translation that I read, you clearly heard the word Trinity. But that is a lie, ladies and gentlemen. The word Trinity, don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Ladies and gentlemen, the word that you were translated was the word Trinity. But that is a lie 
of the translators. The Arabic is not the word Trinity. The Arabic is the word three. And it is comparing three gods to one God. Which is why, ladies and gentlemen, the Quran has an error in it. One of many errors. Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? You lost your right. No, he lost his right. I'm not taking a question. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, on the topic? Bloodfire, don't feed the trolls. Any questions? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions on the topic? Bro, I'm not taking a question from him. I'm really not taking a question from him. Because he's behaving like a troll, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why he behaves like this is because when he stands on his stool over there, no one ever listens to him. So he has to come and do this. So, thank you, Chris. What's the question? Why does no one listen to him? So, no, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so since there are no more questions, I'm going to stop because there's no more questions. There you go. There you go. You fed the troll and now I'm going. You lost your crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, if anyone would like to ask me any private questions, I'm just going to go over there. But I'm going to ignore the rude troll because the rude troll is unable to have a conversation or to behave like a dignified man. So, was Jesus a baby boy? Run away, no. He's just being rude. Don't reward the trolls, ladies and gentlemen. Move away. Don't reward the trolls. If you stand and listen to him, it means he gets rewarded by your behavior. Move away. Move away. So, can you tell me where I contradicted myself? In many ways. Sure, give me one. Many ways. One. You said. One example. Where does it say that the Holy Spirit is not God? I didn't say that. You said, where does it say that in the Quran? You know what? I'll tell you what I said. I said was that we both agree yeah. that the Quran condemns Christians' worship of the Trinity. Trinity, yeah. Right. But there's no condemnation in the Quran of our worship of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but who's part so of the it Trinity? gets it right. Yeah, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's what I'm saying. But the Quran doesn't say that. Yeah, but it's part of the Trinity, right? Yeah, but the Quran doesn't say that. Yeah, but the Quran says. What does it say? Do you believe in Angel Gabriel? Yeah. Do you believe? Do you worship Angel Gabriel? No. But there you go. So the Quran says the Holy Spirit is Angel Gabriel. It doesn't need to say no, no, don't worship. No, hold on, because you've got it wrong. The Quran says don't worship three gods which we don't, so that's Quran error number one. The Quran then condemns the worship as gods, Jesus and Mary. That's Quran error number two. The Quran condemns if the any Quran, worship of anything other than God. Yeah. The, Quran, the Quran also says, and this is Quran error number three, the Quran error number three is it says that Christians believe that the Father becomes the Messiah. Where does it say that? I'll show you. Do you want to hold that for a second? I'll show you. I'm gonna, oh. You're going to pull out your Quran, and I'm going to pull out mine. Oh, mic and then you're going to see what's going to happen here, yeah? Okay. Because you've got an old version, old translation. An old version, that's right. To understand the Quran fully, you have to learn it in Arabic, in full. But this is the closest translation. Right. I've got the closest I'm, translation. I'm going to gonna show you another Look Quranic error. What year that book was made in? Look at the year the book is made. We already know so that the translation out, of the Quran is wrong. We're going to pull out the same verse, okay? Right, yeah, we are. Look. Right, bear with us. Right, I think it might be in 6101, possibly. In Surah 6, I think it might be Surah 6. Bear with us, it might take me a minute to find it. Yeah. 
Okay, well, let's deal with this error. It's a different error. No, 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 it's not actually the passage that I'm looking for, right? Hold on, four, maybe it's in four, sort of four, one, seven, one. Four of I can Sorry talk for. about Christianity, and I won't say one bad word about Christianity. That's the difference between you and me. Well, we've you just criticise got, other religions to preach your religion. We, we've got you that's on camera doing preach. exactly that. Yeah, but that's hate speech. We've got you on camera doing exactly that. No, I didn't. Yeah, you I did. I said one bad word about Christianity. Do, is, is it bad to worship three gods? I believe in Christianity, though. As a Muslim, I do believe in... Do Christians believe in yeah, three gods? Yeah, but I'm telling you, as a Muslim... Do Christians believe in three gods? No, we believe in one god. No, Christians. Do we believe in three gods? I don't know what you believe, though. I can't tell you what you believe. You get it? Okay. Some people worship Muhammad. Some Muslims overpraise Muhammad, which you're not supposed to do. So what you believe in is, is personal. Okay. So I haven't found it yet. We'll find it. it. Depends. I mean, we could go through all the errors that are in the Quran. Come on now. You, you're talking about like you know it so well. Find it. Patience. Waiting. Relax, bro. I'm Relax. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Five, you should have found it like that. Why? Because you're talking about it like you know it very well. That's just nonsense. You couldn't even find a single verse I in the Quran. I told you 6,000 verses. You couldn't so even. Many, I, I you couldn't. You couldn't even find one, bro. Yeah, but you're reading one verse. You couldn't even find I one. I bet you haven't read the full book. Uh, have I read the Quran? No, it's in Arabic. No, you got. The but English. I don't believe in Arabization. No, but you've got the English translation. Is that the Quran? Yeah, but you don't. Is that the Quran? You don't believe in the Arabic Quran. Is that the Quran? The English one. Is that the Quran? You contradicted, you contradicted yourself Is that again. the Quran? You don't believe in the Arabic Quran, but you believe in the English Quran. Right, here we go, I found it. So here's another error in the Quran. The Quran states... Number five. Surah 5, 72. Verse 72, yeah? And what you're going to find is translated in exactly the same way. No, it won't be. Today, by the way, is Trinity Sunday. That's right! Which is why I'm pointing out the errors in the Quran about the Trinity. Because the Quran says it's got no errors in it. Yeah, but if the Quran can't get our Trinity right, it has got errors in it, right. which means that it's not from God. Right. So here's what it says. It says, they do blaspheme who say Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. Who is they that it's referring to here? The Christians at the time. Christians at the time, in the seventh century. Right. It says that Christians believe that Allah is Christ. Do you believe that the Father becomes the Son? Messiah. Got to know your doctrine, ladies. That's, Christians that's don't believe that. What does it say? They it says Allah is Christ, the Son of Mary. We yeah, don't yeah. believe that. Yeah, but they did, they did believe no, that. No Christian believed that in the 7th century. I know Christians today that say that. What are you talking about? No Christian teaches that the Father becomes the Son. Jesus, as in Jesus. Yeah, we Allah do not means teach. God. Allah means God. Right. Allah is the equivalent of the Father. Yeah, in and the, God, and God. Father, the, God, Allah, it's right. the same thing. But Allah, Allah, it, it doesn't want it, bro. It doesn't want it. I'll try to be fair. It doesn't want it. So, the reality is... I'm close to this thing. The, the reality is, the far, it's, saying, it's saying that the Father has become the Son. That's not what we believe. That God has had the Son, yeah. No, it Father, doesn't say that. Yeah, yeah. It says God has become His own Son. Allah is Christ, the Son of Mary. Yeah, that's what they believed in, yeah. Show me which Christian in the 7th century they believed, believed that. that God, had a, God came out of a human being. That's which, which, which Christian believed that in the 7th century? I know Christians today that believe that. Give me one. The one that I live with. You're making it up. No, I'm not making it up. <laughs> There's always that fictitious Christian that somebody knows, but I, yeah, but I, I get this all the time. Every yeah, Muslim I speak to, oh yeah, I know a Christian who believes that, yeah, but, but whenever I ask to meet them, they always say no. Could, yeah, could we arrange so that yeah, I could meet your housemate? Yeah, but there's orthodox yeah. Christians. Could we arrange so that yeah, I could meet yeah, your housemate? Orthodox Christians. Could we arrange a coffee so I could meet your housemate? Yeah, they're orthodox Christians. Uh, orthodox Which Christians Christian are don't believe that. that are you saying orthodox Christians believe that Allah becomes the Son? That, that the yeah, Father listen, becomes the Son? If God says in the Quran, this is what they used to believe in at the time, then it, that's what they used to believe. No, it's the Quran is wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's the Quran saying, is in well, error. So you're quick to no, the Quran is in error. Do you even know what this? Do you even know what error this is according to Christians? Do you know what heresy we call this? See, you don't even know the categories, do you? What categories? For what? The, this is a.
category of heresy, we give it a proper name. You know that was in fast. What, what, what is... You know your belief of Christianity was in fast. Stop changing the, the subject. Christians You're doing no, it again. This, You're this running from the subject. This is not only past. It's the real, the real, you know, the forever, for the end of the and world. it was wrong. No, it, it was wrong. The the history. So the, 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 the so error no, no. in the Quran is found no, in Surah 5, Ayah 72, in which the so-called infallible Allah says that we Christians believe that the Father becomes the Son. Yeah, yeah. But that is not what we've yeah, ever believed. St. Pauline Christianity, you No, it doesn't teach no, no, that. They destroyed the real Christians. Show me. They've Show me. No, no. This what is about just massacred the Christians? These are just words, bro. Yeah, they did. It's Evidence. Historical Evidence. Fact. I've already given it no, no. to you. Historical fact. 572. They burn all the original so, pictures. So, bro. The real Christianity. Now, let me explain. It's a historical fact. Let me explain. In Yemen, Christians were thrown okay, in the fire. Okay, ladies, he's not listening, in so Yemen, I'll just talk to you. In Yemen. So the category of heresy that this Quran is talking about it's called modalism and modalism was condemned by the church in the second century so between the years 100 and 200 the Quran is talking about modalism in the seventh century no Christians believed in modalism in the seventh century and the Quran is in error you're wrong. Man. The Quran doesn't support, understand what supports, the Trinity is. It supports historical data. Stop. Look at historical None. facts. Yes, what they, I have. What they did to Christians. I have. It was horrible. You didn't they even did. know what modalism you know is. What, you don't know your own people's history. You don't know what modalism you don't is. Know how your own people you don't know what Trinity is. I know more about Christian you history than you do. You, go me. on, give me an example. They, they abolished. So, they what, abolished you know, religion. you know, I'm going to embarrass you now. I'm really going to embarrass you. Tell me, let's do a quiz. We're going to do a quiz about church history. Quiz time. No, no, Christianity right? history, not church history. When? Christianity history. When? 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 That Christianity history. Let's do a quiz about Christianity history. When was the Council of Nicaea? I don't know, you tell me. 325 AD. What was the Council of Nicaea about? This is a man who knows more about Christian history than I do. I didn't say everything, did I? Uh, right. I didn't say everything. Tell me. You can never know everything. Tell me. Tell me. When, when was the Temple of Jerusalem destroyed? Uh, in that room. Yeah, no, the first, the first temple or the second. Second temple. I don't know, actually. I think you fourth, don't know. Century, fourth, no. Fourth, was 70 it? AD, it was first century, not fourth century. Wasn't that the first? 70 AD is first century. Right, okay, carry on. You can't even count your no, centuries, okay, bro. Carry on. I believe right. you. Just say yeah. I believe you. Yeah, carry right. On. When, when was the canon of scripture decided by Christians? The canon of scripture? Yeah. All right, okay. Now you're going to know history that I don't know. Okay. Oh, 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 history you don't know. <laughs> the history that you claim to know. I know about the persecution of Christians. You don't know anything about the persecution of Christians. I don't know anything about the persecution of Christians. Yet. Okay. I'm going to prove you wrong again. Real Christians. Not Who you. was the first Roman emperor to persecute Christians? I don't know, I don't know who that See, was. See, doesn't know. I know I Nero, know. Nero, who was the second? Uh, I'm not sure, I don't know. Valerius, okay. who was the third? No, I don't know. Decimus. Okay, carry on. Right? Heraclius, Plasmus. Yeah, when, when, when was Christianity legalized as a religion in the Roman Empire? I don't know, you tell me. You don't know. Yeah. 315 AD. Hey, you're better uh, than my knowledge. By who? By 15, but officially by the Roman. Uh, carry on, who? 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 Tell me. So who. you don't know. St. Constantine, what was the edict called that legalized Christianity? What do you mean the edict? So you don't know. No, carry on. Edict of Milan. Right. You see, bro, what you've got is too much pride and too much ignorance concocting you, together. What? You're ignorant of I Christianity. Just told you I don't know. How can I have pride? Because you literally said, I know more about Christian history than you do. You just mentioned one era of, I'm talking about the thousands of years, you idiot. Brilliant. Thousands of years, yeah, thousands hundreds of, of years. years. Hundreds of years. How long have the Islamic world been persecuting you're Christians? Yo, yo, yo. When we conquered Jerusalem twice, Christians weren't massacred. When you lot did it, you flooded the whole city with blood. Been persecuting the correct answer. Historical facts. The correct answer was 1400 years. No one got killed. It was a peaceful 1400 years. 1400 years. That's how long Muslims and Muslim societies have been persecuting Christians. No, that's not true. Who was the first Christians, Muslims? Yeah, Christians are who was the like first Muslim to ever persecute Christians? Who was the first Muslim to ever persecute Christians? The correct answer is Muhammad. 
No, no, no. You, that was the correct no, 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 answer. No, no, that's not true. That was the you correct guys answer. Were each other. That was the oh, correct fact, answer. Calling, Jews calling. Felt so safer. now that we've shown Jews felt that safer. you don't know, no, no. that you data. don't know, historical data proves historical data. Jews. Historical Listen. data. Jews. We can all say Listen. historical data. Yes, it happened. Bring some proof. Because it happened. Bring some evidence, Jews bro. Found you're it. busted. Jews found it. You're busted. Living okay. in Muslim lands, guys. In Christian lands. I'm going to go this get a cup of tea because this guy just can't have a conversation. Okay, JC. Okay, guys, I'm going to go get a cup of tea. You God deny, bless. You deny historical facts. Just take All them away. Is read books. Let's just take All the cameras away. All I do is read books. You see what your own people have done. All I do is read books. You can't criticize others. You can't criticize your own people. There we go. There you go. Goodbye. God bless. I'm going to go get a cup of tea now. Could I? Could I leave these, sister? Could I leave these with you? Just hold on to them until JC yeah. comes back. All right, thank you. Yeah, this is no. Bob, by the way. This is Jackie. You know, Hi, Jackie. Peace with your sister. She's been persecuted because of you, because she's not. And she wanted to know what's wrong with you to say that she's in this life. I've been coming here for over 20 years. Yeah. And people keep dropping out of the group, so eventually, I was like, when she dropped out, I was like, hang on a second, what's going on? And then I, I got slaughtered, I was like... <laughs> you see, that group, that unfortunately, that you're a part of is a very sectarian, that you were a part of. It's not, it's basically, I'll be honest with you, the rest of the woman's not like that. One person yeah. who runs yeah. over And I think, guys... And I, I stood up to her over and over again. Yeah. And that really I think I think we should separate ourselves from sectarian Christians. And just work together. I'm not interested whether you're Protestant, Catholic or Orthodox. What I care about is whether you believe in Jesus, you want to be his disciple and you want to follow him. You know? Anyway, I'm going to go get a cup of tea. I'm tired. Well, bro, it's, it's nice it? to What's your name, mate? Bob. You're a clever guy, you know that. I give you that. Well, bro, no, all, all I would say... Yeah, have a disagreement, but yeah, yeah, who cares? Yeah. No, I, I, I do it in... I have no hatred or malice. No, no, neither. But, but, but all I would say, bro, is that... You know, you, you, you just need to take the time out to really learn what Christianity teaches. Because unfortunately... I, I agree with Christianity, though. That's what I'm saying. I agree with a lot of it. But what, what I'm trying to say, bro, is that unfortunately, amongst a lot of Muslims... Yeah, yeah. They, they, they don't like being corrected, I know. Well, but there's also a lot of ignorance. And you've repeated got, a lot. I've got friends that are ignorant, so you can't really... It's fair enough. You can't target fair ignorance enough. as an excuse to talk about religion. So I want to I wanna give you a gift, bro. Have you got a Bible? No, no, no. I'd like to give you one then. No, I can't, you know why? Because I've got a bike. And I've, got, I can't, I've got nowhere to put it. But, Fair enough. The internet, but I do believe in some parts of the bike. Let me, let me give you something smaller then. Can I jog with you? Can I talk to you? Sorry. Can I jog with you? Uh, one second. So called Christian. Can I jog with you? One second. Oh, don't turn Christian. Go, go, go. You've been everywhere. Fighting your You're going to Hong Kong. There you go, bro. There you go, bro. You can fit this inside your pocket. No, it's a piece oh, of right, paper. Okay. Then, yeah. You can okay. fold it up. There you go. You can stick that in your pocket. That'll survive a bike ride. All right, bro. You look after yourself. Yeah, you it's nice to meet you. Thanks. Take care. I can ask you a great question. This man has always been critical of you. Yeah. Would you have a discussion with him? Um, once I've had a cup of tea, if he w is able to conduct himself like a rational human being, yes. Bob is willing to have a rational discussion with you, where's that? If he can have a rational conversation. If he can have a rational, but he's just but he can't. I'm just going to get a cup of tea. Go on. Thank you. Didn't you want to interview me anyway? As well, yeah. Yeah, well, come and I'll grab you later. Chris, I'm going to get a cup of tea, bro. I'll probably join you to be honest.